Welcome to EDNA Tech. In this video, we are going to make an interface between LED and Arduino Uno. As I mentioned in the previous video, we require the four things. What is the addresses of the pins that we are going to use and whether you are going to read or write a data and what are the data to be written on the addresses. These are the four things that I require. For that, I search through this data sheet. First, we should make a decision which is the port we are going to use to interface our LED. There are three ports available in the Arduino Uno. As you can see, port B, port C and port D. These are the three ports that are available in this Arduino Uno. Port D contains 0 to 7 and 0 to 5 because other two pins are used by the manufacturer itself and port B also there are seven pins but the two remaining two pins are used for a crystal oscillator functions so only a six pins can be used by the users next we need the addresses of this port registers so search through this data sheet and you can find the register descriptions of the ports here you can see the port B registers and their addresses. The three things that are available in the data sheets are the port B data register, port B data direction register and port B input pin address. What are the uses of these three register of these ports? You can see while writing the program. First we should We should open an online simulator which will be available as Rockway Arduino Simulator. If you search like this, in the first it will show Rockway.com which is an online simulator. As you can see, these are the three microcontrollers that are available in the Rockway. You can use any of these microcontrollers for your interface or your projects. They are given some examples for the Arduino libraries and you can see they have made many projects with those libraries available in Arduino and we are going to use a separate tab and here you can see this is a start and simulation function start and stop and this is a add to new port you can use these components to interface with your Arduino UNO I am going to use LED so I am choose the LED and if you go to the pane, it will show the pin description of this component. Here it shows A. A is nothing but anode. Connect your anode to the any of these pins because I'm going to use port D. Port D is from here. For that, you can use this image which shows what are the pins of ports. Here you can see the port D contains 0 to 7 of the audio critical pins port D and it is PB port B and this is PC means port C these are the pins that can be used by the users for their interfaces I'm going to use port D so I am connected my LED with the one of the pin of port D and you can connect the cathode to the ground now I enter into the program First, we should make initialize the pins that we're going to use. So, I name it a function as init port. Before that, we make a data type which will be useful for our function. Because it is only 8 bit, we're going to use character as our data type volatile care and we should name the variable for our convenient I make it as port D direction register what is direction register that means if we give input of 1 means it sets the pin as an output pin you are gonna write a data 
through this pin to the external device that is the data direction whether you are going out or coming in it depends upon the value you write on that registers if you writing one as means but that you are going outside if you written zero means you coming inside so I'm gonna use the pins again that means I'm going out through this pin so I'm going I'm going to write a value of 1 to this pin and all other pins are zeros and I forgot to mention one thing I am going to use pointer what is the use of pointer pointer plays a major role because it is very useful in this area let me explain what is pointer if you declare a variable as int x then the compiler divides it into three two types this x as variable and ampersand x as address this address will be allocated by compiler itself we cannot change this address but we need a change in address as in our program so I'm going to use pointer x now if we declare as int star x then star x will divide into two things x and star x here the star x acts as a variable and x as address of the star x variable this x is further divided as this so the star x makes our job easy because we gonna write a data into the address so we are gonna allocate a data address because the data direction register has a particular address of 0x24 we should write the value into that address so we are going to give the address but the compiler will allocate the address if you use only a variable if you use a pointer variable you we can use our own address to our program so I'm going to use star point pointer variable so I made a star or port D direction register in that I should write here address of that direction register so I made a variable star port here you can see the x is a address and star x is a variable so x is the address so we here written a instead of x we written port d direction so the port d direction is the address of that variable what is the address of the data direction register as i said i used port d but i written port b i see no port d you can see the address of the port d register here it is 0x to a you can make this value to the address of the variable 0x to a is nothing but the value of 8 bits in the hexadecimal format if you expand this 0x to a into the binary format you can get 8 bits if you want a detailed descriptions of number systems give a command below I can make a separate video next we should use a pointer variable to write what is the value should be written on that address you should calculate the value what is the value should be written means these are the 8 bits of the port d register i written a port d 8 bits these are the pins 0 to 7 pins 
and we gonna use second pin as our output pin so I am gonna write 1 to this pin and all other pins are 0 this is the binary value of these pins so you are gonna convert this binary value into hexadecimal as I said the number systems plays a major role here you should know about these number systems uh, conversions and it will be available in the online itself but if you want a speed you can make use of these uh, websites that contains conversions from binary to hexadecimal and all other things and it is simple consider these four bits and convert it into the equivalent hexadecimal value 8421 8 I think it goes behind screen sorry for the interference 8421 if the, all the bits are 0 that means this is 0 now 0 1 0 0 the second to 4 bit I am taking these bits and the equivalent value of this bit is 4 the decimal hexadecimal equivalent of this value 4 is 4 itself so the value should be written to that data direction register 0x 04 likewise we can calculate what the pins will if you are going to use the pin fourth pin as your input and making all other pins are zero then you should calculate for that pin 0 0 0 and this between all zero if you're gonna connect your LED in the fourth pin the hexadecimal equivalent of this value is 0 0 0 0 1 then it is 1 and this is 0 so the hexadecimal equivalent if you connect your pin at the fourth is zero one zero likewise you can calculate for any bits any pin I'm gonna use the second pin so I return zero x zero four and that's it for this function and the next function we should write is the output so I name it as a output and I'm gonna declare a variable care because it is also a 8 bit out data as a variable because I am outdating a data to the external device so I made it as a out data as a previous volatile care star port B data register what is the addresses of the port D data register you can find it in the data sheet itself here you can see the port T data, data register as address of 0x to B 0x to B and you're gonna write your data port D data equal to out data what the data is written here will be sent to this and this will send the value to the address which is mentioned here 0 x to b in the address of 0 x to b you gonna write a data which should be which pin should output the data now comes to the main programming first we should initialize the ports next we are going to outdate output a data what data you are going to output I am going to glow LED at second pin 
as we calculated previously 0x 0 4 you can directly mention 0x 0 4 here itself but if you go and connect the pins it's many pins likewise if you going to connect in the fourth pin and fifth pin three pins you going to use then it will be you want to write a separate functions for fun different pins for a general make it as a variable you can use many number of times a function you can see now the program should run it shows some error I think I mentioned the D here now it should run I think so it runs but make a prototype for these functions if you use any of these functions you should first prototype these functions at the beginning of the program it must be really helpful when you are going to write a long program because it is short you're gonna find it very easy but if you wanna write a long program make a separate prototype for these functions that you are gonna use in these programs now you can use any of these pins I'm gonna use another LED at the pin of fifth and I'm gonna connect this ground now I should glow this LED for that you need to calculate the value of this pin also it will be 0, 0, 1, 0 that means the value of this is 2 and this is 4 so this pin is outputting a data to the external device so make it as 1 if you make this as 1 and the value here will be 2, 4 and if you write the output 0 x and here you can see 0 2 to 0 means it will glow the LED of second LED also I think this will work why this LED doesn't glow means first you made this 0x04 in glows and then you made the spin as 0 and it made this spin as 0 and made this spin as 1 so that this LED only glows this LED doesn't glows to make the difference we need a delay to see what happens because the microprocessors will run at a microseconds with our eye we cannot catch that changes so we need a delay to see those changes for that we should make a delay function which will be very useful there is a different delay we can use a software delay which is approximations for accurate delay you should use the hardware delays that will be really useful in the upcoming program I can make a difference between hardware delay and what is software delay now we are gonna use only a software delay which is a approximate and we, we don't need any accurate answers so we are gonna make a variable of volatile long i and we are gonna rest for some time in the loop so we can make a delay while running this loop as you can see I made a function delay I am going to waste some time from 0 to 1 lakh times this loop will run and making some waste of time so by wasting your time we are going to make a delay function now you can see if you run the program there will be a changes Yeah, here you can see the first thing the first light glow and next 
the second led is both to run continuously this program make a while loop which will continuously run a program for infinite times if you want any specific time you can make a condition inside this while loop here you can see the first LED glows and second LED doesn't glows because if you run inside this while loop first is comes 0x04 then delay next 0x20 then it keeps on running and goes to the first line itself output 0x04 so in between this 0x20 and 0x04 there is no delay you can see in between these two there is no delay so we can make a delay here which makes a difference to this program and you can see the changes of this program it will blink I think so yeah here you can see the blink of LED between these two LEDs you can make uh, many functions different kinds of functions and uh, different kinds of understandings to these programs you can make a in your own style in the next video we're gonna make a input likewise a switch a switch which gives the input to the Arduino if the switch is pressed then the LED should glow for that we need only a extra function that gets input from the switch see you in the next video